Once you're a certified yoga teacher and today let's stretch together with these easy yoga stretches for beginners. So we're going to start lying on the ground just to settle in. Just bringing your knees towards your chest, making sure your back is nicely grounded on your yoga mat. And here, placing the hands on the knees and drawing circles with the knees. Or you may not need your hands actually. So just giving our lower back a gentle massage, changing directions for the circles and connecting to our base of the spine, awakening this part of our body that is crucial for grounding and also for unleashing energy. And moving on to knee to chest, so extending your legs and bringing your right knee towards your chest, inhaling here, and with an exhale, interlacing your fingers and pressing your right knee to your chest and maybe bringing your forehead or your head to your knee. With an exhale, release. This time, extend your right leg, bring your left knee towards your chest and squeezing with an exhale, the left knee towards your chest and maybe your head to the knee. And doing this a couple of times, so following your breath, following your pace, and we love knee to chest pose because we are stretching the lower back, the hips, and also giving our abdominal organs gentle massage, improving our digestion. So one more on each side. So feeling the sensations in your hips, in your lower back, and taking your time, stretching kindly. Gently releasing and moving on to swimming arms. Nothing difficult here with an inhale, extending the arms over your head and with an exhale, circling the arms down as if you were swimming. And with an inhale, arms overhead, opening your chest, stretching and with an exhale, circling the arms down. One more time in this direction. Imagining maybe that you're swimming in the sea, in the ocean, refreshing your whole body. And doing the same on the other side. So this time circling the arms up, inhaling here, and with an exhale, bringing back the arms down. Two more times. Feeling the sensations in your upper chest, in your shoulders, in your arms. Awakening the upper part of your body. Last one. And moving on to rock and rolling on your spine. So bringing your knees to your chest and holding your knees if you can. And rolling on your spine. So awakening your spine. Unleashing the energy in your body. Removing the tensions and the blockages. And the last one. Before coming back to the front of the mat into sitting cross-legged. Sitting cross-legged for some side stretches. So placing your left palm on the ground, inhaling here, and with an exhale, bringing your right palm to the left side and stretching the right side of your body and keeping your spine nice and straight. Inhale back to the center, doing the same on the other side, right palm on the ground, left palm to the right side, stretching the left side of your body. Inhale in the center and keeping your spine nice and straight, doing this a couple of times. Imagining that there's an invisible wall behind you, supporting you. Or just awakening and stretching the upper part of the body. It's a great way to release tensions. And to energize your whole self. Inhale, come back to the center. Moving on to cow face pose. So very easy. Inhaling, raising the left arm up, bending the elbow and reaching your left palm between your shoulder blades. And with an exhale, with your opposite hand, pressing your left elbow down and feeling the stretch in your upper back, in your arm, in your shoulder, keeping your spine straight, squeezing your belly. Staying for one more breath, inhale gently through the nose and a low, smooth exhale through the nose. Inhale, slowly release and changing arms. With an inhale, reaching the right arm up, bending your elbow, right palm between your shoulder blades, and with an exhale, pushing your right elbow down with your left hand. Cow face is great if you're working in front of a computer, if you have upper back, shoulders, neck stiffness. 
breathing smoothly and with your exhale slowly releasing moving on to tabletop pose so having your feet and your knees hip distance apart your hands shoulder distance apart spreading your fingers wide wrists under your shoulders knees under your hips and you can be on your hands or you can also come into fists whatever feels good coming into a dynamic version of tabletop so tucking your toes lifting your knees off the ground like 10 centimeters shoulder blades high not collapsing like this squeezing your belly in and finding the final great alignment for your spine that is straight so not going like this with your hips either curving too much so maybe tilting your pelvis and finding the right alignment and with an exhale coming for your first downward facing dog so extending your arms reaching your hips high up bending your knees slightly and keeping your spine nice and straight and with an inhale coming back to tabletop exhale downward facing dog doing this a couple of times inhale floating table pose exhale downward facing dog inhale table pose exhale downward facing dog and feeling the sensations in your legs in your chest and really opening your chest so last one table pose and exhale downward facing dog so opening your chest by internally rotating your upper arms pressing on your hands on your fingers extending your arms and moving on to three leg dog so when you're already grabbing your left ankle with your right hand and twisting to the left side so squeezing your belly in and looking under your left shoulder with an exhale come back to the center doing the same on the other side grabbing your right ankle with your left palm and squeezing your belly, twisting yourself to the right side and looking under your right armpit. Exhale, coming back to the center. With an inhale, raising the right leg up. With an exhale, right foot between your palms, coming for your low lunge, so left knee on the ground. So making sure that your right ankle is in line with your right knee. Bringing your arms up and stretching, opening your chest. And here maybe bringing the fingertips to hold your head and feel what feels good for you so maybe stretching side to side or a bit back and forth keeping your sacrum nicely sliding down navel slightly in or if that feels good for you you can also place your hands on your right knee and stretch your hips so having the hips aligned pushing your right knee to the front of the mat opening your chest so really follow your intuition here follow what feels good for your body with an inhale come back again and with an exhale placing both palms on the ground fingers nicely spread moving back to plank so either full plank or plank on the knees with an exhale lower yourself down so having your elbows towards your chest going slowly here with an inhale coming into cobra so placing your hands under your shoulders rolling your shoulders back pressing your hips down and looking front and with an exhale downward facing dog with an inhale raising the left leg up and exhaling left foot between your palms coming into your low lunge so same alignment of the ankle and the knee and doing what feels good for you so maybe stretching your hip and having the hips align pressing pushing your left hip to the front of the mat going a bit back and forth or having your hands on the side of your head and stretching the sides of your body one more breath and with an exhale palms on the ground going back for your plank so full plank or easier version elbows to the side with an exhale lowering yourself down slowly and inhale into cobra rolling your shoulders back and down opening your chest and with the next exhale, pushing yourself back into downward facing dog. Inhaling, raising the right leg up with an exhale, right foot between your two palms and coming for your high lunge. So extending and strengthening your back leg. Inhale, coming up, cactus arms, 
and with an inhale opening the elbow slightly more backward opening your chest and with an exhale coming back in neutral and doing this a couple of times and that's very tiny a very subtle movement just feeling the sensations of your chest when you open your arms a bit more or close them so keep in mind that your back leg should be extended and strong that your hips should be aligned so maybe bringing your left hip a bit more to the front of the mat and with an exhale going back into your downward facing dog and sing for one breath inhale through the nose hold and a deep exhale through the nose inhale raising the left foot back and with an exhale left foot between your two palms coming for your high lunge so same cactus arms whoop finding your balance bringing your right hip a bit front good alignment of the hips strong back leg inhale bringing the elbows a bit backward and exhale back to neutral and make sure that your upper arms are parallel to the ground not having arms like this we're both grounding ourselves with the strength of the legs and expanding with the openness of the chest and with an exhale slowly moving back to downward facing dog and from your downward facing dog very gently bringing your knees down and coming into child's pose so having your big toes together knees together or slightly apart and resting your torso between your knees or on your knees while walking your hands to the front of the mat and resting your forehead on the ground and keeping your buttocks grounding on your heels while lengthening your spine as if someone was pulling your hands and stretching your spine so one full breath here gentle inhale through the nose and a longer slower exhale through the nose and moving on to lying on your belly to stretch our spine a bit more and coming into either sphinx or cobra so feet hip distance apart having your elbows under your shoulders so sphinx pose and really pressing your hips pressing your abdomen down rolling your shoulders up and back down shoulder blades down looking front and feeling the sensations here and if you want to go a bit further you can bring your palms towards yourself and same coming into cobra maybe having your elbows bent like me or if you're super flexible your arms might be straight which is not the case for me and that's okay so staying here and while pressing your hips down feeling the lengthening and the expansion from the crown of your head as if someone was pulling your head to the sky Staying for one more breath, inhale. Exhale, gently release. Going back down. And moving on to a modified version of locus. So extending the arms in front of you, having your forehead, your nose on the ground, and with an inhale, raising your hands, your arms, your legs on the floor. Exhale, going back down. Inhale, up, locus pose. Exhale down and doing this several times and we love this pose because we are strengthening the lower the middle back we are lengthening the spine stretching it and opening the chest so two more inhaling raising high opening the chest exhale down and trust me your spine your whole back is loving it and saying thank you right now exhale release and slowly very slowly rolling on your back taking your time here and bringing your knees to your chest and if you can hugging your knees towards your chest so we are counterbalancing cobra and locust pose here and taking one deep breath inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose and taking your time rolling back and forth on your back to come into sitting sitting cross-legged on your mat 
sitting cross-legged <laughs> and moving on to seated spinal twist so gently placing your left hand on your right knee and bringing your right palm behind you squeezing your belly twisting the upper part of your chest and maybe looking towards your right shoulder or wherever feels comfortable for your neck taking one deep breath and grounding your sitting bones while lengthening your spine to the sky and with an exhale release and bring your right palm on your left knee and same your left palm behind you twisting to the left side so squeezing your belly in and twisting the upper part of your chest looking back staying for one breath lengthening your spine with an exhale come back to the center and here I give you the option to either lie down and rest for couple of minutes in Shavasana, so simply lying. I have another video, so you can check it for full relaxation. Otherwise, if you're a bit in a rush, just coming to the front of the mat and maybe bringing your palms in front of your chest and bowing your head, bowing your heart, and thanking yourself for practicing today and showing up on the mat. Thank you so much for stretching together. If you have questions, just drop them down in the comments. And if you liked this video, please give a thumb up, share yoga around you and subscribe to my channel for two weekly videos. I wish you a brilliant, amazing day. Take great, great care of yourself and see you soon on the mat. Namaste. Namaste.